All right, let's continue with these two quests over here. And then I think we can go to another, unless these guys have recurring quests. That's probably it for this area. And then we can go to Gridania. And then we can actually like, we can actually um, open up some of these jobs. I think Archer's there. And I'm not sure where Scholar and Astrologian are, or Reaper. I should try Reaper. I mean, since I'm so much of a DPS person, I'm surprised. I'm surprised I haven't tried it yet. I just wanted to. I guess I just wanted to get through the the main story quest. Like once I started it, I was just like hooked. I was just like, I'm gonna. And I spent like way too much time just going through it. Let's see. So never trout that I love. Commander Boldin has a request of you. And when a red swallow asks nicely for something, it's best to oblige. The commissary finally received the shipment this morning. That should make things a bit easier around here. The brass sent me fresh warm water trout, biggest I've seen. The privilege of command, eh? But I can't rightly eat it myself. My best three scouts haven't had anything like real food in weeks. They're out finding paths and breaking cobalt skulls every day. So I'm going to ask you to grill the fish, grill that fine trout, and serve it to them. Hmm. Well, I am such a little... I am a bit of a culinarian. Level 39. And this is a what? Level 34 quest. So... Should be good, even though I don't really need it. Alright. So we did that, now we have to deliver it to his buddies. Which are... Oh wait, we have to pick it up. Right? Yeah. Oh, I hope I didn't burn it. <laughs> Alright. Oh, they're all in one location. Is this a tree house? Did I see that right? Or am I tripping? No, it's not really a tree house. Kind of just a lookout, I guess. Ardent Red Swallow. The Twelves watch over me, and if I should perish before the day is over, may I take as many of the enemy as I've known Doxies. Trout? Bah. I had a fancy for a fat hen. There are four things I like. A bit of petticoat, a mug of sour beer, IPAs, and a leg of fowl, and a whole lot of dead cobalts. I guess he didn't like the fish. Not a lot of people do. I am steel, hear me roar, you mole bastards. I am steel. And these guys are like way into it. The commander sends a plate. Eh? Smells good. I usually like beef, hot and bloody, but this will do for a snack. Me too, buddy, me too. Oh, I, I do like some kind of fish. Salmon's pretty good. Tuna? Not as big a fan as tuna. Maybe I just don't I don't know how to cook it right. This ain't getting easier. Going out day after day, especially with that smell of fish grilling. Oh, finally, one of these guys is actually looking forward to it. Starving Red Swallow. What's this now? The commander had you grill it up for us? Oh, ho, ho. Look at the size of that thing. But next time, giving us a suckling pig. Move. At least one guy appreciated it. The other guys were like bloodthirsty. Haha, <laughs> that's my boys. No respect, except where it counts. Mark my words, soon as your back was turned, all three fell to and swore twas the best thing they ever tasted. We're a crew, you hear me? Them that's here, them that's gone, them that's eating their hearts out at Bronze Lake. The red swallows do for each other, and Ifrit never takes the hindmost because 
they ain't ever anyone left behind. Oh, we get some ourselves. More stuff we can't carry, though. Oh, he has another quest, too. Return to your dust. Commander Bully Dean has something on his mind. Don't let the looks fool you. The Cobalts make a bad enemy. They've forgotten more about s smelting alchemy than some of the lot on our side have ever known. All that matters is the Cobalts can make golems. And that's war is a thing that kicks down the doors between can and do. You know about the ancient golems and up in the floating city of N Nime. The scouts tell me the moles are gathering materials in the ruins. Once they make more golems and send them against us, we're as good as done. I got no men to spare. You're not the worst I've seen. Put a stop to their shopping trip before he gets port starts raining golems. Here's how the water is going to run. You'll find a golem and get its soul stone. You put that on a likely spot as bait and put an end to any cobalts that show up. And here, take these bottles of water. My boys tell me they didn't like the looks of the cobalt's armor, but you know, alchemy, it'll wash. Golems. I don't remember any golems in this game. What kind of golems is this guy talking about? Oh, there they are. Hmm. Don't remember these golems. Oh, we gotta do Flood of Darkness twice. We got our damage buff. We do a stun. Oh, we just need one of them. I was about to go on a killing spree. I wish they had more dragon mounts. Definitely my favorite mounts. Golden Soulstone. Time to hunt some kobolds. There've been a real big problem in this uh, in Lenosha for everybody. It looks like. I wonder what, I wonder if that's the same for the other places, for uh, the older locations and the Granadia, or Dania locations. So it seems like probably gonna have their own enemies. I would imagine maybe Gridania has the Pixies. Maybe? Not sure. I'm not sure about Holda. I didn't really spend much time over there. has a lot of health. Let's see, it restores MP upon landing weapon skills. Effect does not stack on new multiple targets. I guess it's our only way to get MP back. That's doing no damage to us though. So. Did he just heal himself? Does this do anything? It's just a one time hit. One time damage. That's a combo attack of 320, and this is 240, and that's 150. It's almost not worth doing unmanned if you're just fighting one enemy by yourself. I sold this whole oh, it restored my, my own HP too. I guess, he, I guess that's why it seems like he's not hitting us for that much. I 
can see why some people, you know, get bored of this game because, you know, in the beginning levels, there's, I mean, I'm literally pressing one, two, and three. There's like almost nothing else to press. You don't really need to press, you know, you don't really need to cast Flood of Darkness or anything, really. It's just like a bonus. Let's see. What's our next move? So it's at... Oh, we just got... Oh, it's at 38. Reduced damage taken. It's not really the most exciting move. And then Edge of Darkness. At least that's another attack, but that's not for another four levels. Something just seems weird. Dark Knight. Pretty much the master of darkness. Riding on a little fluffy white panda. I saw this guy from the back. I thought he was... I literally thought he was Santa Claus. I was like, is there Christmas events going on? What's going on? Sweetly done adventure. We won't have to look over our shoulders for an army of golems now. Risking little blood now saves wallows of it later. Return to your dust. That's a pretty good amount of amount of gill. Another quest for us. Looking for trouble. Clearly, Commander Bullydin has come to trust your skill and discretion. Well done, Divinius. Thanks for. The other times, you're not soft. I'll give you that. I have a job that needs a hard lad to kill. Searching for Cobot Scouts. My boys say there are at least three of them somewhere on the hill. You can handle that yourself, can't you? Probably. I haven't had any, any problems with any other quests. So let's see. Velociraptor. What's this symbol above his head? I've never seen that symbol before. What's is is he part of like our hunting log? That's not usually the the hunt. Or is that just the cursor? I have no idea. It almost looks like a little frog. Yeah, this right here. Hmm. Yeah, it's only on top of the Velociraptor. Oh, hunt marks. Okay, so it is part of a hunting log, but that's not usually how the hunting log looks like. Does it look different for each class? Or did they change it and I didn't even realize it? Alright, well, might as well take care of that. I think it gives us some good experience. Seals. Wait, wait, okay, hunt. Oh, so it's a hunt mark. So it's not part of our log. Eight allied seals. Oh, these seals. I've never done anything from this. I don't really know what this is, actually. Does anyone know where to turn these in? get them exchanged because they're not they're not in use anymore it says you could turn it into an NPC and I thought it was here at more at the Revenant Troll well, I mean <laughs> Revenant Troll Revenant's Toll like one of these guys but I, the person who does the script exchange doesn't 
like, want to accept them. So if, if you know, let me know in the comments. Catch a whiff of earth and metal. That's kind of crazy. Like, you don't think of these guys as really much of a threat, so I'm, I'm kind of surprised that... that those, those, you know, fearsome, bloodthirsty warriors are having such an issue. But it was kind of surprising to hear that, you know, about their... their alchemy skills. That... they've, they've forgotten as much as we know. I'm just like, man. They must have been around for a long while. Cobalt Patrolman. Or Infinity. Oh man. Not good. I had an AoE attack. Oh, is that an AoE attack? I didn't even realize that. Oh, it is. Man, it's so much easier to, to do these quests as a tank. Because, like, like, if I was leveling up with my DPS, my, you know, when I was leveling up my Dragoon, if I got swamped by like four mobs like that, I, you know, I might be like two levels ahead of them, but it's still pretty close. I'd, I'd have to like run away or die. seen these flags either. It's like they've added new... I mean, like, what's the point of this? Like, this fly... I mean, I like it. It's like... But usually they just have, like, a little a little purple spot on the ground. And, like, this is your destination. Kind of... Kind of like the little flare they added. Makes it more... It makes the story more engaging. To what these guys are going through, you know, you can picture them like scouting out locations and you know finding spots where the cobalts are more commonly, you know, gathering, putting flags there. Yeah, so it's pretty cool. I don't know how new it is. I'm sure this is an old quest. I put a glass on you as soon as I heard there was fighting. I had you pegged for a bruiser. Sure, you don't want to give up the road and join us here. There's enough cobalts to go around. There's something a touch familiar about those cobalts you saw too. I've seen some of what moves that way before. I could swear to it. It'll come to me if we have even that much time. Hmm. Got another quest for us. This guy's got a lot for us. Hell me, you love me. Wait, what is it? Hell me, you love me. Some mines are sieves, and some are steel traps. And Commander Bolidin has the latter sort. His remembrance of things past begins a mission of vengeance. I've been racking my brain over those scouts you slew, and now I remember where I last saw them. They belong to the cursed priests. Priests, the leader of the Cobots, 129th order. An only lot to ever make it past our centuries and into the camp. The camp's supposed to be like a ship. You might get a, a broadside, but you'll see it coming. You're supposed to be safe here, but it wasn't safe that night. 
and one of mine almost died. A young swallow, new made, easy pickings from the, the moles. They slipped in on a rainy night, and when it was over, we found Bluggy, Bluggy Ball. He'd been lying out in the rain, and there were rifts, the colors of roses running off of him. I hadn't kept them safe in his own camp. See to the sawbones had see so the sawbones had to save him. I've amends to make the priests got to die. If the priest is here, that means there are cobalt bombs nearby. When the one twenty ninth retreats, they go in fire and thunder. That's their way. If they go to the bombs and set them off yourself, he'll come scampering to see what's amiss. Take him then. You may not be one of mine, but you're a red one, still to soul. I can count on you. Take this smoldering coal, use it on the bombs. Since that night, I'm not misprized the priest's guile. Already the whole camp's on alert, rearing to avenge Bulgy Ball. If this is one of the cobots' tricks and they're thinking of ambushing us here, they won't live long enough for, for regrets. I think that's that guy that wanted wanted us to send the letter. Kind of cool that these stories kind of like they're not. I mean, a lot of these side quests have been kind of just one offs, maybe two offs. But like some of them have been have been like this, where there's like a cohesive story, and there's like multiple side quests that like you know link to each other. So it's not just like because it makes sense that like his quest like if he has if one person has a a quest line and you know multiple quests and they link together that makes sense but like the fact that he's mentioning other quests that are really not that important kind of makes these uh uh doing these side quests worth it is that my minion poro rogo Hmm. It's a nice little frog. Okay, detonate cobalt bombs with small. Okay, so we have one more. Should be around here somewhere. There you go. Wonder how tough this priest is gonna be, considering. I don't know. This priest almost. I guess with the cobalts, like, got into the camp and almost killed someone. And I have to take him out by myself. What kind of revenge are you looking for? Oh, this is from the 129th, though. The, one, the 129th order. And I think if I remember from like the previous episodes. Um the what's it called? The Beast Tribe quest. Right, I think it was right here actually. Yeah, 789th order. Right. Which I think they were the weakest. Because they they went from um they go in order and like I guess the first the first order I'm assuming I never met the first order, but the first order would be the strongest, I'm assuming. And they would be the weakest at 789. So being Crystal Eyes, Greatest Shower. Oh, is this part of the mount? Oh yeah, I remember this. Yeah, so being the 129th order means, you know, they're kind of on the strong, the strong end, but... They still got 128 more orders stronger than them, so. I wonder if we'll ever meet the first order or something close to the bottom. Yeah. Alright. Well, tell me good news. Did you get rid of that priest? He was even easier than the last guy I had to face. You'd think he'd be stronger. A trophy taken from the corpse of the Cobalt Priest of the 129th Order. His helm, from that, ripped from that cunning head of his. Done me a great service, adventurer. Will you do me another? 
for the Red Swallows. Take the helm to Private Bol Bulgy Ball. Camp Bruns Lake. Tell him the priest is dead. Pup that he is. Having a trophy will mean much to him. An adventurer or not, you're one of us now. Times aren't just changing, Divinius. They're turning like a mutton ship. Oh, wait. Yeah, but who knows? Could be that being a friend of the Red Swallows proves the mighty useful things. Hmm. Hmm. That's been a nice, satisfying end to this quest line. I mean, we might have done a little bit out of order, but I would assume that you'd have to you you deliver this guy's letter, and you would do his quest line, the captain's quest line, and then you'd come back. Let's see. I wonder if we get anything for it. I see he still remembers that we de that we delivered his letter. I know your face. Ah, the adventurer who delivered my pleas, but to no avail. You've come from Overlook? Is all well there? The priest is dead. The swallows. I thought perhaps... Perhaps they thought my wounds just... Desert and left me to my shame. He did not tell you? I had the east watch that night. Twas me that failed and nearly died in the... F in the... F failing. Look, see... These cuts from in inside the helm, one from each of the red swallows. These are the same marks we make in the woods so that no comrade may be lost. Hey, thank you for bringing me this. I am the most fortunate man in the world. Hmm. Ooh, level 37. Alright. Let us go back. I think there was one other quest here. At least one other quest person. There might be more than one. Oh wait, this way. Swag girl. Swag girl. I guess I don't know. Deduce, reuse, recycle. Sergeant. Swag growl wants something, and what's this lady? And what this lady wants, she usually gets. Hmm. Oh, you. Yeah, you, the honey-faced one with all the buckles. I've got a job for ye. I need me some raptor claws, but the piss ants give me so much trouble that I clean forgot I was killing them. Practical like, got mad, bashed their heads, and walked away whistling. The carcasses be lying around somewhere near. Got a few of my arrows through them. Fetch me the claws, my gallant culver, and I might be back in that practical mood. And oi, one more thing. You see those arrows of mine? Bring back the heads. It's easy enough to, f to fletch an arrow, but arrowheads don't grow on birds. It's like some horizon thing. What a, that was a great game. Can't wait for the... I mean, I would say can't wait for the next one, but it's probably going to be on PS5. Which I can't get. But I'm sure that's a problem many have. We did gain a level, so is there any gear? Nope, still that hat. Serrated arrows. Velociraptor cl claws. I guess we're gonna take this guy out. He's gonna attack us anyways. I'm going to take him out now. Ooh, another 
another point, another thing. Oh. Yeah, but no one, no one's actually doing it, so why bother? It would just take too long. One more air. Okay, here we go. Didn't see you here behind this rock. Storm surgeon. Boy, sweet thing. And get me my claws and arrowheads. Appreciate it, dear heart. Why the long face? Oh, you think we're that low on supplies? Listen, Crumpet, the Cobalts can't leave Metal B. Any we throw at them, even arrowheads, back to their burrows. It goes and smelt it into new arms. So the orders are, give them no metal. Make arrowheads out of claws. Cher it, a bit of the cook's gingerbread. Man, you're cooking stuff that hard and haul back any steel or brawn arrowheads comes natural like to us seafaring folk you know we be skimpers it's like saying being cheap just being cheap man hello man waste not don't let the cat out of the bag Sergeant Swagral is a woman of many talents. As you discover one memorable day, that fine morning, she is attempting to master another. My mama told me before I went to sea. Girl, you're as strong as a horse, fast as a snake. Snakes aren't that fast, are they? It's almost like an insult. And brave as the whole company of heroes put together. But your sister is the clever one in the family, leaving... Leave the thinking to others. Okay, I guess it was supposed to be an insult. But there's no leaving anything to anyone else out here. So I was thinking, uh, first mistake, how's about we tame some corals? They'd rip through the cobalts. Just go out there and tie a coral and catch it with this big sack. You got the, you got the oysters for that, I bet. <laughs> I completely... I just got it. You got the oysters for that. Okay. I wonder if it's referring to like the the pearls inside. Oh, I'm no good at catching. I get too wild, and before I know it, it's all killed or spent. No sweet thing. This one needs your touch. Man, these guys are all like these guys are all bloodthirsty. Oh, I keep pick. Oh, the the duck is back. The ugly duckling. I was like, why isn't my mouth showing up? I just kept, I was kept hitting the minion button. Alright, young corral. We just so we just get a week in that. Not kill it like those guys. I don't see how we're putting some big animal like that in a sack and then carrying it, but who cares about logic? It's just magic. Hey, good looking. Catch my corral yet? Alright, a real damn corral. Wait till I tame this thing. The cobalts ain't gonna know what hit them. Won't know because they'll all be in pieces. Now, how am I gonna tame this thing? Oh, uh, great. Just thought. <laughs> thought uh, I only thought about step one. How's it. How it's done usual like? Do you just sit on them or talk to them? 
Oh man, this thing's gonna rip her to shreds. Oh, I don't. All right, I gotta sell some more stuff. Don't have any room. Super. Uh, so let's see. Let's just do a sort. And can't even sell half this stuff. I guess we'll just sell some crafting materials. Something that doesn't have many. I don't want to sell like 93 of these, even though probably not that useful. But I got only one of these. That's weird. We got a we got a levy stone in our Final Fantasy One uh, playthrough recently. I haven't used it yet. Oh yeah, we you know I I know I was like in the previous episode I mentioned that we did the earth crystal and the fire crystal return the I guess the shine to them, but we also did um some sort of I forget the name I think it was like an I, the ice cave. It's probably what it was, some simplistic name. And that's where we got the levy stone. And that's where we ended it, for the day at least. We'll come back to it eventually. But I'm assuming that, at first I thought we were going to have some sort of airship to get to the northern continents. But, it looks like we're just going to make our ship float. I mean, that's what I'm assuming, because like, what else would that stone be for? Okay, that should be enough for now. Alright. We just read we read all this dialogue. No need to read it again. Alright. And that's it. So let's see. Let's do one final check here. Oh, I've been in here. Cobalt Stronghold. I think I've been in here for... I think there might be a dungeon entrance in here. I usually don't pay it no mind. And I kind of just like fly in there. Don't face any of the enemies and just get to where I need to go. But going through that story... You know, I, you know, the one we just went over, pretty much, um, really puts this, you know, Gamaro minds in perspective. Because usually you just walk through this, you don't really care. There's no connection to anything. I guess that's kind of one of the, the bad things about just being able to teleport everywhere and fly everywhere. But it's nice to know that they actually have some, some backstories to these things.